Okay, this is John from MK1615 Evangelism Team, and we are out here at the Brazilian Festival, and as you can see, they have one of entertainment is the skateboarding um, stage, um, and I just ran into this gentleman, and I asked him if he does these. He's like, yeah, a little bit, so we're going to talk with him and see, you know, what does he do, and how good is he, and what's your name? Uh, my name's Case, I'm Kirk. What exactly is this called here, this setup? Uh, this is called a mini ramp and it's made by InstaRamp, which is a company that drives around portable half pipes for people to do events on. Okay. Now, this looks a little dangerous. I mean, can somebody really get hurt here? Uh, yeah, you could, but a lot of the people, you know, learn how to fall safely without hurting themselves, so it's really not that bad once you get used to it. Now, you do this, right? I do do this, yeah. I how long have you been skateboarding? Uh, for probably 10 years. Wow. Now, in your 10 years, be honest, have you ever really hurt yourself? Uh, I have a little bit, but nothing too major. Like broken bones? I've broken a foot, but that's about it. But does that come with the territory? I mean, territory, if you do yeah. this, you're bound to get hurt, right? Yeah. At least one time. At least once or twice. It's a learning process. You know, I'll tell you, I, I was really drawn to this when I saw it, and I really admire you guys that do this, because I see sometimes on, like, ESPN where those guys are going down those huge ramps and just like gliding through the yeah. sky I mean that's that's crazy and it's dangerous right it would, is would it's, you do that uh, I would not do that I don't think I'm not huge on the flying through the air uncontrollably <laughs> thing but I do really enjoy doing stuff like this and it's really fun to do if you got the opportunity though would you do it uh, yeah, I would, I would probably try it and yeah. see what happens. I mean, you could literally get paralyzed or killed there, right? I guess, yeah, you probably could, but... Yeah, I mean... It's nice to try and stay a little positive about it, you know, and yeah. try to avoid that kind of stuff, but it does happen sometimes, and it is sad when it does happen. Now, let me ask you, a beginner, could, could a beginner learn on this? Would you recommend them, or would you, you know, would they, would you probably have them practice somewhere maybe a little uh, smaller right? well a beginner could this one is a larger ramp but they do make smaller portable ramps that yeah. there's a four foot one and a three foot one and those are a lot safer but this one's a little more elite all right okay well and is this why you came to this brazilian fest this is why all i came right. this if is this why wasn't here you wouldn't have been here right? i probably wouldn't have known about it <laughs> skateboarders you know they're attracted wherever there's a, a stage or a platform they're gonna go Listen, I was wondering, can I change gears on you for a moment? Can you handle that? I can handle that. Okay. I was wondering, oh, as you can see the, um, the uh, Brazilian dancers here. Okay. Um, where are you at spiritually? Uh, spiritually? Are you a spiritual person? I'm not a huge spiritual person. I, but you believe in God, right? I do believe in God, but I, I'm not a crazy spiritual person. And I do. do you believe you're going to go to heaven when you die? Uh, yeah, say that, yeah. And, and what would you base that on? I mean, why would God allow you in heaven? You think? Uh, I don't consider myself the worst person out there. I try and help people out. And okay. So overall, you, you're a pretty good person. Yeah, I'd, I'd feel safe saying that. Okay. And, you know, one of the ways that we can look to see if we're good people, because we can look at how God sees us. Yeah. Because I think, you know, we've only talked for a few minutes, but I think you're a great person. But how I see you really doesn't matter as more as... God, as yeah. much as God yeah. seeing you. Yeah. And yet, one of the ways we can see how God sees us by looking at the Ten Commandments. Okay. The Ten Commandments are God's standard yeah. of righteousness. And yet, we can see if we meet up to that. One of His commandments says, do not lie. Have you ever told a lie? I have told a lie before. Yeah, what do you call someone who lies? A liar. Another one says, don't steal. Have yeah. you ever taken anything and I have never to? stolen anything in Really? My life. Yeah. Wow! Well, how about downloading music off the internet? See, I'm not too good at computers, so I can honestly say that <laughs> I have never... How about um, uh, cheating on a test, anything like that? Oh, I've, I've cheated on a test, absolutely. Right, it's still a form of stealing, you know. Yeah. Okay. Two more. He says that we shouldn't use God's name as a curse word. Have you ever got angry and upset and said God, the D word, or Jesus huh? Christ out of anger, even in, once in your whole life? I'm not sure. I'm really huge on using the weird words, you know. Okay. Yeah, so you, you don't think you've ever done I, that? I'm not sure. I, probably not. I don't really cuss okay. too much. So. Well, I commend you for that. It's called blasphemy. We shouldn't yeah. do that. Okay. One more. He says that we shouldn't commit adultery. Okay. Now, Jesus said, if you look at a woman and lust for her, you've committed adultery within your heart. Have you ever looked at a woman and lusted for her? Uh, yeah. Okay. I, you could say that. I think I turned around during that question. So. <laughs> 
So, uh, what happens is, just by looking at those four commandments, we can see how God sees us. As a liar, a thief, a blasphemer, adulterer at heart. Okay. And yet on Judgment Day, when you stand before God, would you be innocent or guilty for breaking His laws? Well, I thought I was going to be innocent, but... But when I showed you the commandments, you the it kind of hit you right in the face with it, It kind of did. It slapped me but, right in the but face. But because, you know, the Bible says we all proclaim our own goodness, but when we look at God's standard of goodness, we're like, I don't match that. I don't yeah. even need close to that. I'm a sinner, right? Yeah, absolutely. So yet, on Judgment Day, would you be innocent or guilty for breaking His law? I'm not sure. I guess guilty. And where would you go, heaven or hell? I guess I would go directly to hell. And we should because God's standard is righteousness. And me and you don't meet that standard, but that is his standard. Mm -hmm. So therefore, if we don't meet that standard, he should send us to hell. Yeah. Is hell a good place or a bad place from what you know? Uh, I'd probably say it wasn't the best place. Yeah, you wouldn't want to go there, right? Uh, no, I don't think so. So what I told you concerns you, right? Uh, yeah. Last thing. So, do you know what God did that you wouldn't have to go to hell, but you could go to heaven? I do not. He sent someone to come to earth to live a perfect life that you and I couldn't. Okay. And then he went and died on the cross for the sins of the world. Who was that person? That was Jesus. Now, that's good news. Because we should go to hell because of what we did. Yeah. Broken God's law and thought, word, and deed. But God loved us enough that he sent us a savior. And that savior is Jesus Christ. And yet, through him, you can have your sins forgiven. You can have eternal life and you can spend eternity in heaven with God because of what Jesus did on that cross. That's great news, isn't it? That is great news. And yet what God requires of you is that you would repent of your sin and put your faith and trust in Christ alone. Not in your good works, trying to earn your way to heaven, but in Jesus alone. Okay. So repentance and faith. Yeah. Will you at least give that some thought? Yeah, I absolutely will. All right, man. Hey, uh, you're a gentleman, man. Thank you. Thank you. And be safe out there, man. Absolutely. I don't want you to get hurt. I'm going to give you a gospel track, all right?